Okay, now we have this DXF file into e in Ecotect and we want to make um, some very simple shadow diagrams with this program. Okay. First of all, I'm going to go to my zone management and I'm going to turn off some layers. I'm going to turn off the layers with the people for the moment and the light shells, interior and exterior. So I can turn on the shadows if I go to the sun symbol right here, display shadows. What's kind of strange is that it seems like the sun is in the north and that is actually correct because this default geographic location is Australia because this program was actually developed in Australia. So one of the first things we have to do is we have to make sure that we are in New York. Okay, so uh, you see that little globe symbol right here. You click on it, load weather file, and it gets you right to your weather data file in Ecotect. So we're going to select USA, New York, New York. Yes, and already the shadows on the other side, which looks more correct for New York. Okay, our side is in New York. We uh, And this is a south-facing facade. So you can see there's a little north arrow right here. That So that is correct. If, if there's another angle that we need to account for, we can actually turn it here. We can turn the north arrow. So now you can see that it actually has changed, but not in our case. In our case, we want to have a zero degree offset. This just depends on how your 3D model is oriented. Okay, so now we have the shadows on and um, the first set of diagrams is just a um, kind of a perspective like this with uh, the back the back wall still closed but this one side wall open so we can look inside and we, so we can get a sense of the shadow pattern as the sun um, moves through the day or through the year. If we go to the sun we can actually um, under shadow settings we can turn on daily sun path. So this is a nice little you know diagram that visualizes the path of the sun. Okay right now we're in April you can see right here uh, we can go actually to the winter solstice and this is the path of the sun on December 21st. If you actually, this is the, the sun, you see the sun is very low even at noon and if you actually grab this sun and you you can drag it and you can see what the sun angle is at 9 o'clock obviously you know this wall is would be close in reality but you can still get a sense of how low the sun angle is and what kind of angle they are in plan right and then you can just zoom zoom through here and see what happens okay and then if you actually um, if you hold shift so as soon as you press shift when you're in this mode right here you get the um, this red kind of loop here and then now if you click on the Sun with your um, left mouse button you can move it along the line and that actually means that you're staying with it at the same time but you're moving through the year okay so now I'm now I'm in July now I'm in um, in J June 21st I can also just go there by if I'm starting again at the winter solstice, I go to this, click here, summer solstice. Okay, so this is the path of the sun in the summer, right? As you, as you know, sunrise a lot earlier, and in general, it's a lot steeper. But this is just a really nice little tool to visualize sun angles throughout the year. And it's also a nice way to create diagrams, okay? And that's actually the first task I want everyone to do is create this kind of diagram for your different design options. So you have to figure out what are the options that you want to test. In my case, it's these windows without any light shelves. That's option A. 
option B is with an exterior light shelf and option C is with an interior light shelves. So I'm going to place the camera and I'm I'm going to ask you to create diagrams for the winter solstice at three three um, times of the day, the summer solstice, and one of the equinoxes. So we're going to have nine diagrams in total. Okay. So and we want those to be the same viewpoint, so that if we actually put those in a PowerPoint presentation, we could, when we hit next, it would just um, change the angle of the sun without jumping around so it, it would be to be a fixed kind of perspective I think something like this you want to you want to um, make sure that the sun path looks good at all times of the year so maybe and that you can actually see something of the of the facade and the shadows so maybe this is maybe this is a good camera angle All right it works here it works here okay um, I'm going to the, go to this tab here at the bottom left I'm going to say create new camera view one now this is my view one okay so if I go back to default and I change it and then I click on view one it's going back and that's pretty convenient Okay, now I want I want to I want this to look a little bit better. I don't like this color of the, of the material here. So there's there's a setting under visualization. So that's this I right here in this tab, where I'm going to have the surfaces right now have the material color, but I want it to be background. Background is white at the moment, so this is just going to be white. So it looks a little bit more like like a SketchUp, just a simple line drawing with shadows. And the um, the edges of these objects are foreground color, which is black, which works well. You can also have them colored um, or white. Doesn't make too much sense. So I'm going to use the foreground. You can enter alias them. They become a little blurry, I think. So I'm not going to do that. See, that looks already much better. I like the crisp. B now, it's really important that when you change these visualization settings, that you actually um, update your camera. Because the camera is not just the position, it's also all the visualization settings. So now if I go back to the default, it has these colors. And if I click View 1, it changes the view. And it also changes the, the rendering. OK, so um, now we want to generate nine different diagrams. I'm going to start with the summer solstice and I'm going to do it at nine o'clock in the morning. Okay, now this is diagram number one. And the question, how do I get this out of Ecotect? And it's actually very simple and very basic. You click on this little photo symbol and you copy as a bitmap. Now you open um, Photoshop what this uh, little photo symbol copy as a bitmap did is just um, took your sc took a screenshot. Now I'm going to uh, press Control N in Photoshop, which creates a new file. It'll take a little while here, and then I'm going to press Control V, and I have this um, file in here. Okay, so now I'm going to repeat this a couple of times for the different um, times of day. I'm going to do it at noon. Very steep sun. Copy as bitmap. Control V. Put it in here so now you can see what I mean. You actually have it exactly in the same spot. And um, we're going to do it at um, 3 o'clock. So that's 15. Copy as bitmap going back to Photoshop, dropping it in here. Okay, I'm. you're gonna do this now for the three design options. I'm, I'm not gonna do it right now because it's the same, but essentially you have now a series of diagrams that illustrate the path of the sun at different times of the year.